This is the case of Ichabod Crane versus the Headless Horseman. The plaintiff, Mr. Crane, is being represented by Miss Andrea Kane. The defendant, Mr. Horseman, will be represented by Ms. Shine Yinks. All rise for the Honorable Judge Gregory Unit. Court is now in order. I would like to introduce our uh, celebrity jar to your right. Uh, these people were glad enough to come out of here and uh, help out and uh, support our Sleepy Hollow community in this trial. Now, uh, plaintiff, defendant, our trial may go underway. Plaintiff, you may state your case. Your Honor, we charge the headless horseman with 13 counts of homicide. Defendant, please state your case. Your Honor, my client pleads not guilty. All court is adjourned today. I welcome everybody back to our uh, second day of the trial. Plaintiff, you may state your case. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Constable Crane accepted orders to go to Sleepy Hollow to investigate the three murders that occurred. When he arrived here to talk to the Headless Horseman, he had to deal with the external pressures of working with the townspeople who he couldn't believe. Then one night out in the field, he witnessed the murder of Magistrate Phillips. Although the council moved to decapitated just a few feet from him, Ichabod had to deal with the trauma. The constable's commitment to work went deeper into the case, beyond his scientific studies. He built a network, meeting the townspeople and finding help from them. Young Masters provided information for Mr. Crane about the townspeople and his family. Ichabod also formed a relationship with Katrina Van Castle. Was it a romantic relationship? Yes. It is a whore! The three used teamwork and research in the investigation to find the horseman's motives. First, Retrieving his head, which record show was cut off by the Redcoats during the Revolutionary War. The second, to steal a Van Tassel inheritance. A family tree shows the pattern of deaths. Also, they used teamwork to find the horseman's grave and to escape the pursuit of the horseman and his attempt of murder. In conclusion, this evidence and our witnesses show that the Hellas Horseman is responsible for 13 counts of murder in Sleepy Hollow. Thank you. Defendant, please state your case. Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client has does not have three things that the townspeople do have. Communication skills, assertiveness skills, and conflict resolution. For one, my client could not comprehend the cries of plea he heard before he killed the people that he did. He was trained to kill. In his lifetime, killing was good. It saved his family and his country. He can't filter things people say. He has no head. He can't repeat back to understand. He can't listen to compromise. He had no way of focusing on what he was being asked to do. My client cannot respond. He can only react. His reactions may, may not have been conventional, but he had no choice. Lady Van Tassel had him in her clutches, and he could not do anything about it. Assertiveness skills. Assertiveness is a skill most children ha possess. My client, who person during the Re Revolutionary War, not so much. He doesn't know how to lead his life. He doesn't have any goals, except one, to get his head back. He can't explain his feelings. He can't show his emotion. He can't respect himself. He can't ask for help. He is stuck in a world where he is completely controlled by a monster. He is controlled by a murderer. He had no say. He couldn't stick up for himself. He doesn't have a mouth to say no, a heart to feel negative, or a brain to think about the mistakes he's made. He didn't even suspect the horseman had a reason to do this. He only includes my client of senseless murder. He didn't turn his head until the thought of the horseman's head came into view. The whole ordeal can be blamed on Lady Van Tassel and Ichabod Crane. The defendant has been found guilty and he will be hanged next month 
and you have a bail of one million dollars. Come on, guys. Get my feet. Quando El Quale and Nua Campiano Padre. I got mine. I'm not excited. I'm excited this guy. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm honorable.